recording. What? Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Base here, and welcome back to Cockroach okay. Show Joe Part. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, so we left off meeting Guy Akira and girl uh, Hiyaki. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, and Lily, and Lily. Uh, Remy made a bad pun. Accidentally. Yeah, he, he actually. <laughs> you have to see it again. <laughs> Lily grows in an arc, uh, uncharacteristically unrestrained manner. The reaction earns an amused smirk from her sister. The immunity between the two just took on another meaning. I had thought it simply mattered a difficulty of communication between the two, but a family feud makes things much more complicated. can't choose your family. But you're a friend, and then you became family, so therefore I I can choose my family. <laughs> gives a half-hearted shrug. She mustn't give as much weight to the two conflicts as I do. That's how it is. What are you two up to anyway on this phone? We're shopping for Hanako's birthday present! The day will be coming up soon! So, uh, fuck. so this is the last chance we'll have before school starts again for the week. Not even up. Hira makes a strange face as if Lily had just said that the sky wasn't blue and the clouds not white. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Why? Is something wrong? <laughs> Hira's face seems to collapse. It's an utterly unbefitting expression for someone so rowdy and headstrong. Lily shakes her head cluelessly. <laughs> I look at Hideki. I look at Hideki to see if he knows anything about this. A simple shrug is his only answer. For a moment, Akira ponders what to do before smiling once again. The fact that she can hide her emotions so quickly and effectively is unsettling. Hey, Jordy. Sorry. But could you hang out Fuck. <laughs> for a while? No, take him or her whatever away! <laughs> <laughs> he nods and waves her off, Akira placing an arm on Lily's shoulder as she guides her away and out of earshot. So died? I'm alone with... Who died? Died, don't worry. So, uh... Nice weather, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it seems so! I guess they dumped <laughs> us. Indeed! Oh. Uh, what a partial attempt at small talk. I've got no idea how to talk to this girl, and his robot and her robotic responses are helping. I don't care. Blood and a stone come to mind. Without another word, he begins to rock on his feet in an obvious gesture of boredom with discussion. He really is like a little kid, despite his serious demeanor. Looks so much like a fucking girl. Yeah. Suspecting the conversation over, I decide to accomplish what he came here to do in the first place. Hence the mustache. I'm gonna go search for a present. You coming with? How much else do? Great. Oh, this place. In a little while, we come to a small shop beside a convenience store. For once, the store windows aren't filled with electronics and computer games, but dolls, stuffed bears, and all manners of woodcrafted oddities. Othello's Antiques? An antique store? Well, if there's anything in town that suits Hanukkah, I guess I'd be here. Look at this model burning house! PTSD <laughs> 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 go. I reach for the old-looking door handle, pull back at the last minute as I realize my companion's gone adrift. Oh no. Not coming in? I'll just be in the newsstand for a while. Don't mind me. His voice makes it plainly clear. He has zero interest in what's in the store, and that he doesn't feel obligated to follow me. You follow me. <laughs> as he wanders off without another word, I push the thick wooden door and enter the store, a bell above me ringing out. I hope that... What? Good question. What? <laughs> Musty smell of old books and wooden shelves is distinctly anachronistic. Anachronistic? Yeah. Close enough. I look to the counter beside the door. The gray man. The graying man. The gray man. The gray man. <laughs> D gray man! <laughs> Behind it sits there silently, g g getting ready to hunt demons. Uh, reading a tattered book. He certainly fits the look of the. The look of <laughs> Slowly wandering through the aisles, the person I'm reminded of as I inspect each handicrafted or, or imported oddity in turn is an Hanukkah. Crouching down, I examine an ancient oak desk inside the shop window. At least 30 dolls, all varying widely in size and make. The only similarity between them is the long Victorian dress dresses they wear. Yeah. I, t I turn the price tag off of one of them that turns about that about waist height. 
least. It's not my price bracket at all. I do the same to each of them, getting more and more depressed as they get smaller and smaller in size. That is, until I reach the very smallest one. It's affordable, yet just yet of quality make with long auburn hair and little blue dress. Grammar hurts. What? <laughs> Good, so I was <laughs> I decided that it's the kind of present Hanako to appreciate, pretty looking and far from gaudy. After I carefully pick it up, I decide to keep looking around the store. I'm not sure whether it's because I like the atmosphere or out of simple curiosity. Peeking around the corner before I go to the next aisle... <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's a good question! I see that the shelves in this one are stocked with wooden toys, from toy cars to intricate automatons. Ah, uh, music box. Oh, the music box. Tucked behind a line of nutcrackers, I notice a plain, a little plain wooden box. It feels surprisingly late as I pick it up with my free hand, and then, and then frickin' turns into elephant lead. <laughs> that music box. Oh no. Let it play for a little bit. The lid only need, <laughs> needs the smallest movement to pop open. The little drum in, the middle drum inside begins to rotate immediately. For seconds on end, I simply stand there listening to the palm-sized melody. As it plays, I take the tiny price tag from my fingers and bring it up to my face. The minuscule uh, cursive writing taking some effort to read. It's affordable. Sort of. Did it boom! Did it boy falls and hits a piano and then the whole story goes crashing down. She's like, I did it! <laughs> Guys, look, the butterfly effect in, in effect! <laughs> The butterfly effect is real! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it's just a butterfly Wait, lands it, on the store that, collapses. Isn't that the domino effect? It's a uh, domino effect, butterfly effect, chaos theory. Grossing slightly, I close the lid and make my way to the console with doll and music box in hand. Fucking god. Oh my god, look! They could be brothers! <laughs> probably, it was probably him and his younger years. <laughs> when I lay the two on the counter, the man be behind it sits up and takes stock of them. He doesn't hide very well his surprise at someone my age buying them. So you're buying this, Sonny? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was a terrible old man. Let's not have a bun kichi. It's painful, but I hand over the money for the two and leave the store with a small, opaque bag in hand. Go ahead. Being there takes me by surprise. Oh, hi. I thought you'd be at the newsstand. Here, give me a call. She's waiting for us at the phone with Lily. At least that solves the issue of trying to find them again. Oh, good. <laughs> Don't die. We head off back to the fountain. Hideki's immaculate posture and presentation, despite his appearance, makes for a strange contrast, even as we walk. The tenth. That's when they're leaving. Uh, no, a little bit before that. Uh, Lily and Akira standing, uh, stand there waiting for us. Their face is hard to read. Hey, you made it. What are you the best? <laughs> Mood seems to approve as he rejoins her. See you, Lily. He so tell Hanukkah I said happy birthday. Well, bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Akira! <laughs> and with that, the two disappear into the frosse of the afternoon city crowd. For call. <laughs> Turning to Lily, I notice she's carrying a small bag. And it's now I, that I realize why her disposition felt different from before. While Lily's typically the type to wear her emotions on her sleeve, her expression and tone are clouded and difficult to read. Oh, it's, it's more than a little off-putting, but given the effort she's making to hide her emotions, I doubt she wants to be cornered on why she's feeling this way. Already brought Hanako a present? Yes! If you <laughs> Cleared the phlegm, but yeah. <laughs> Daryl, hit me up to the bus stop, then! Okay, there should be a bus back to Yamaku pretty soon. And with that, we begin to walk. Crikey! And, and with that, we're going to end the video. Okay. Because <laughs> I know it's probably a little earlier than you. Remy's got to go. Yeah, i got to go to a board of education. But yeah, fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And also, feel free to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. It'll help us out a lot to get noticed. And we definitely want that right now. So yeah. Oh. Mikado approves. <laughs> Mikado the pimp. <laughs> oh, one last thing. Asia, make an appearance. <laughs>